Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to install Zorin OS without using a USB drive on a Windows 11 PC. That's right, no flash drive, no DVD. We're going to dual boot Zorin OS directly using just your hard drive. This method works in UEFI mode and is perfect if you don't have a spare USB stick lying around. Let's get started. Open your browser. Uh, we need to download two things. First, head to Zorin.com and download the Zorin OS Core ISO file. The free version is perfect. Now, open disk management. Now, look at your main drive, usually disk zero. We need to shrink the Windows volume to create free space. Right-click your C drive and select Shrink Volume. We need to create two chunks of space. First, we need an 8 gigabyte partition that will act as our installation media and format the drive. Using FAT32 NOT NTFS, then we need another partition for Zorin OS itself. I recommend at least 50 gigabytes, but more is better if you have it. Next, we need the tool that makes this all possible. Search for and download USB Universal Installer. Download an old version as the new versions do not allow you to select an internal drive so you can format it. Only allows external USB drives. This is a tiny Windows program that will set up our eight uh, gigabyte uh, partition to be bootable, just like a USB. Open Universal USB Installer. Select Zorin OS from the Distribution drop-down menu. Browse and select your Zorin ISO file. Now, instead of choosing a real USB drive, select the 8 gigabyte partition you created earlier. Click Create. This will copy the ISO contents to that partition and make it bootable, acting just like a normal USB drive. Next, restart your computer. Enter your UEFI boot menu uh, by pressing keys like F12, F2, F9, Delete, or Escape. This varies depending on your computer. From the boot menu, select EFI, then select the partition that we created as the 8 gigabyte installer. Your PC should now boot into the Zorin OS installer.
Let us see how this looks like on an HP. Let us go back and continue. The computer will now boot into the Zorin OS installer. From here, the process is standard. You'll now see a list of partitions. Find the partition with free space you created earlier in Windows. Set the mount point to slash. That's the root directory. In the Device for Bootloader installation drop down at the bottom, select your main hard drive. It is usually selected by default if you have one drive or you have not connected any USB drives. Wait for the installation to complete and then restart your system. After the restart, you should now see the Grub Boot menu where you can choose between Windows 11 and Zorin OS. Congratulations! you've successfully installed Zorin OS without a USB stick. Now check if you can boot into Windows and then check if you can boot into Zorin. If this guide helped you breathe new life into your PC with Zorin OS, give this video a big thumbs up. It really helps the channel. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon so you don't miss more awesome tech tutorials like this one. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.